right, so here he is, the still undefeated Umar Nurmagomedov. And we do hope eventually he gets into those title eliminators and back to those UFC main events because a lot of people are bullish on his chances to dethrone the Bantamweight champion, whoever that is, when his moment arrives. Still training under the watchful eye of Javier Mendez at the American Kickboxing Academy. Cardio Kane Velazquez has been a huge influence of late on Umar Nurmagomedov. Health is wealth, though, right? Wasn't able to make the walk for the San Hagen fight. He is healthy again tonight. Let's see if he can put that best foot forward. Well, belt or otherwise, many believe Corey Sandhagen is the best bantamweight in the world. And to take it a step further, they believe he would be favored against a lot of these guys like Sugar Sean O'Malley and Pyotr Jan, maybe even Umar Nurmagomedov. But you're only as good as your last fight, and Sandhagen's last three have been quite good. Rob Fox certainly was humbled underneath him in their main event in Nashville, Tennessee. Sandhagen's appetite for knowledge is just absurd. He has traveled the world looking for elite training, looking for specialists in the jiu-jitsu realm like Ryan Hall. He is a student of the game. He is a mental giant. And most people believe that when Corey Sandhagen gets to an undisputed championship setting, he will break the door down. Ah, the Sandman, Corey Sandhagen. He has graced the octagon. It means we are ready to go with our main event of the evening. Our tale of the day for this Bantamweight Championship fight. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Uma Nurmagomedov. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed. UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World, Corey Sanhagen. Herb Dean, our right. referee for this right. one. Good. All right, one of the best Bantamweights in the world at present, ready to go here at the beginning of this round. Of course, I'm talking about the Colorado native Corey Sanhagen. And man, when it comes to distance management and the understanding of range, this guy's as good as it gets. Ask Frankie Edgar, ask some of his previous victims. This man will put you to sleep. All he needs is one little opening to close the show. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Oh, rips the body shot there. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Nurmagomedov oh, yeah. gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Nice short uppercut in the clinch by Nurmagomedov. Able to block that one. Nurmagomedov 
gets the double leg takedown. How good was that? A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Just misses with the left hook. Dan Hagen's kick is blocked. Oh, that body shot hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And there's a takedown attempt. Under a minute now to go. With that punch. Oh, landed that kick to the leg. Single collar tie now. Big body kick land. And just inches away. Big double leg, never change. He's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Round two is next. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lose the dance as we go forward. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. And mixes in a takedown. Why not? Well, Marco Medoff's looking to pass in the half guard here, but he's denied. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Outstanding work with the ground and pound here by Umar Nurmagomedov. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nurmagomedov. Oh, right into ball. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Nice transition. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nurmago Medov. Get the ball here. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Thirty seconds to go. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. 
Final seconds here of round two. Mago Medox right back to the full mount here. Two rounds in the books. Right, he won that last round. He was all over you, but you're better than that. Come on now, let's shake it out. Let's get back in there, let's get back to the game plan. Hands high, work behind the gym. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. Quick leg kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Hermago Medov. Continuing to go to the head. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice double. Gomedov's in half court. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give it more of an advantage on the map? Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. More than one, more than one. All right, he'll engage in a single collar. Oh, he needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, nice body shot. Takedown defense is there. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. That guillotine is tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Sanhagen's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Ball working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Kick lands. Double jab there by Sandy. Final seconds of round three. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round of fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You've got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight.
Whiffs on the elbow. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Trying to hammer that lead leg. That's a simple blow right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. And it hurt to try to encourage that. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Sandy. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He passes to half guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, Kimura attack. Yup. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. He's got the Kimura locked in now, but he's got to be patient. He's got to step over the head with the knee. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the Octagon and it showed in that defense. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. He gets to the single collar. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Pretty good stuff getting that kick home. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. Yeah, and you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are there to win a fight, not just be standing at the final bell. Ten seconds to go in round four. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. Oh, saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Mongo gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Throwing that jab, no good. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Nice. Nicely done. Dan Hagen's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see what he goes for. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everybody go. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Oh! Ramonko Medov gets caught by that straight hand. 
lands a nice leg kick. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Right now, he's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. If you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh! So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Whiffs on that offering. Till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. Two of the most exciting words in all of mixed martial arts and new. I think we're going to hear Bruce Buffer utter those very words tonight. And new. And he relied on his striking in order to take the belt from the former champion. He fought beautifully tonight, and we are all proud to call him new UFC champion. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Uba! All right, so there it is. After 25 minutes, the judges' scorecards read in favor of the new UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World. That is a title they can never take away from him. And right now, they are all chasing a new man at 135 pounds.